So guys, welcome back to another video, and in this one today, we are going to be focusing on the 90 rated Prime Rykard item, which has only just come into Ultimate Team, and obviously he is one of the rewards from Icon Swaps, so in this video we're going to discuss not only is he worth it to buy off the market, but is he also worth getting from Swaps. If you need to get your hands on some coins to improve your Ultimate Team, then check out the link in the description, igvault.com, and if you use the code Kieran at checkout, you'll get yourself a pretty nice discount. Now, like I already touched on, he has only just come out, and he cost me... 1.6 million, which is, yeah, just nuts. In terms of value for money, obviously that isn't a good price, but um, I feel very confident in saying he's not going to stick at that price. So if you guys could leave like written on the video, that'd be very much appreciated because, uh, yeah, I get the feeling I'm going to make a pretty heavy loss coin wise. Anyway, this is the item, 4 star weak foot, very nice for a mid, medium, medium work rates, and does stand at 6 foot 2. In terms of traits, there are none, and in terms of in-game stats, there's some pretty good ones. Oh, by the way, he's starting as a cam, he's not playing as a cam. In-game, we are, of course, going to switch to the 4 2 3 one. He's going to play as a DM next to Thomas Party. We're also going to try him out in the 4 one 2 one 2 and he's going to play as a lone DM uh, when we play that formation. So, stats-wise, how is he looking? Well, his physicals are brilliant. 90 stamina, 90 strength, very, very happy with that. And his defensive stats, to be fair, are also top, top draw. 91 interceptions, 91 stand tackle, and 87 slide tackle, all of which are maxed out to 99 thanks to the Shadow Chem style we are applying. In terms of pace, he's... He's got decent pace for a mid, but obviously he's going to be boosted nicely by that chem style once more, which is great. When I was looking at a chem style for this guy, I was 50-50. I was thinking maybe we go with Shadow, uh, not Shadow, uh, maybe we go with Engine instead to give him that boost in the dribbling, or should we just go for Shadow? And uh, in the end, I ended up going for Shadow, but um, I definitely wouldn't disagree with an Engine chem style. In terms of shooting, finishing is pretty poor, but he's a defensive mid, so that doesn't matter. But he does have nice shot power and long shots. Um, passing looks very, very good to be fair. A good vision of 85, really nice short passing of 90 and very nice long passing of 87. So hopefully his distribution in game will be quite nice. And the fact he's got that four star weak foot will definitely help with that. And then finally dribbling. Um, really nice ball control to be fair of 90 and very good composure of 92. But um, agility and dribbling, uh, in-game dribbling ratings certainly um, are not looking too appealing. But um, all in all, it does look like a very good CDM item, but uh, definitely doesn't look worth 1.6 million, but uh, that's obviously my fault for buying him this early. Um, anyway, let's get in some games and let's test this item out. So here is what we are up against. We have Mbappe, Ronaldinho, Pogba, and also that flashback Alessandrini, who is a bit of a handful. And, uh, you know, the typical foot jumps back on Mendy and Joe Gomez to uh, try and break down. Ball's whipped in. Here's a chance. Rijkaard! Oh, got the head to it, but didn't, you know, convert to the feet of Rijkaard, who sees the run of Mbappe, puts him through nicely, and that's a great goal. No, it's not because Mbappe is offside. Unfortunate. Oh, nice. Easy intercept there for Rijkaard. Ball just appeared in front of him, and he acted. Rijkaard, of all people, has just taken on Kunde. Oh, I tried to do too much there. I shouldn't have tried that. We did well to beat one man. I should have just took my victory and ran with it. Well, 1-1 one, one at the break. Both sides had some decent chances, to be fair, but neither has fully capitalised. Hopefully, we can do exactly that in the second. Oh, I was going to say good sliding challenge, but once again, it's another one of them tackles where he's won the ball and then ultimately not fully completed. Oh, nice. Good block by the Dutchman. That was a chance for Mbappe to get him behind, and surely that's a penalty. Surely. And there is full time. We get ourselves a very nice 3 2 victory against a very good opponent. We scored like in the final minutes and uh, yeah, got the job done. Um, Rijkaard was actually pretty solid in that match. There were a few occasions where he made a tackle, didn't, you know, fully get the ball. Like he, he won the ball but then lost it, like that kind of thing, you know what I mean. Um, but uh, for the most part, was solid and made plenty of intercepts in that game, which was uh, really valuable, to be honest. Well, I've got to be honest, I didn't expect to come up against this in champs. Um, this is, without doubt, the worst team I've come up against in champs um, in my whole entirety of playing FIFA 21 uh, foot champs. It's, um, yeah, very surprised. Nice tackle there from Rijkaard, winning his possession. Don't know why he's trying to run there through Saka, but Rijkaard quickly closes that idea down. This genuinely might be my worst ever performance in a FIFA game this year. Like, I have been awful. We actually need to have a big second half against a team which we really should be destroying. Um, anyway, Rijkaard's going to go to Lone DM for the remainder of the game. Hopefully can do a good job there because, uh, yeah, we're going for two forwards in the second half. This isn't about just attacking in this game. Like I said at the start, I do want to test uh, Rijkaard out in a 2DM, uh, 2DM and 1DM formation. So uh, that's what we're doing. 
Nice red card. Good dispossessing there. Okay, so full time has come around and we've got the 6-3 win. I have to say that might have been my worst FIFA 21 game ever. I was bad, my players didn't feel great and it was just a really strange game. And as you can see, we even ended uh, the game with 10 men. But uh, ultimately did end up getting the job done. Rijkaard actually got a very good match rating because uh, he got a goal towards the end. But um, yeah, ultimately I didn't think anyone played that well in that game. It was just a really, really horrible game of FIFA. In our next outing, we come up against this. It's a very interesting side. Very good backline, Koundé, Varane and Mendy. But um, yeah, an even more interesting attack. Nice use of the links there to get that Politano in. Madison trying to wriggle out of the situation. Rijkaard gets a foot to it, but ultimately doesn't get the job fully done. Nice by Rijkaard there. Stretching his leg out to get the ball. Rijkaard to bring us forward. Looking for a runner, like literally someone make a run please. Makata in behind, here's a chance, gets the shot away and it's a great finish actually. That's a fantastic finish from the Japanese cam and it's a nice assist for uh, Raikard too. Nice Raikard, stuck to his man, stuck to his job and got it done. Nice, once again reaching out to make the intercept. Well, it's all square at the break, and it's just been a really close game, to be honest, as you can see from the stats. I think if we can get a bit more ball, we uh, will get the win in this game. It's just going to be a case of, you know, actually getting some of that possession. Tellers with the delivery into the box. Rijkaard with the header. Unfortunate not to beat Van der Sar. Nice. Kept up with Vazana there. Got the block for the cross. And eventually we will get to... Wait, what? That's a penalty? He felt He went to foul me. Oh, chance. Rijkaard picks up the pieces and we get another one back. Nice, Rijkaard. Good win of the ball there. And because of that win of the ball, Rashford's just pulled it level. Well, at full time, it's 4-4 and we head to extras. I really, really am feeling hard done by in this game, but let's see what we can do. And there's full time. We get a 7-5 victory in extra time. And, uh, yeah, I'm just glad the game's won, to be honest. That was, uh, yeah, not enjoyable, and I really thought I was going to get done over. Maybe when I watch the replay of that penalty incident, I'll think otherwise, but, uh, like, from memory, I really don't think that was a pen. But whatever, we got the win. That's what's important. Rijkaard, to be fair, uh, was pretty solid. Okay, then, now more games have been played with Prime Rijkaard. It's time to review his card. How was it overall? Um, if I'm being honest, not as good as I hoped it would be. Um, definitely not a terrible card by any means. It's a good defensive mid item, but do I think it's a great one? No, I do not. I think I've used quite a few better DMs already in this year's Ultimate Team, and I'll talk about that more uh, towards the end when we do a few comparisons. Um, so how was this guy in game? Well, for the most part, I thought he was very, very solid, which is nice. Interceptions are brilliant. Definitely one of the biggest pros for this card. Makes plenty of them, positions himself well, and just reaches out and gets the ball, which is is great and to be fair even from a tackling ability I do think he is very very good but he's not one of them players who wins you know 99 out of 100 tackles he wins about you know 85% of them there were quite a few occasions where I thought you know what you should be winning that um, like you know what I mean when you watch the clips then ones where he's made the tackle got the ball initially but then lost it pretty much straight after which is a uh, yeah quite unfortunate maybe just not as strong in the tackle as some other defensive mid options but his side tackling is very good and for most of the time his stand tackling is also very good but there are them occasions which i just referenced and um, in terms of how is he from a physical point of view Big fan of the strength, big fan of the stamina. I went into extra time with this guy and he held up quite well. And uh, his strength was great throughout, obviously. And also I thought his aerial ability was quite nice. I think his ability to win headers is great, but his head and accuracy isn't anything too special. In terms of dribbling, he's... Yeah, not too great. Uh, definitely wouldn't use him as a cam, and uh, I wouldn't use him as a centre mid either, to be honest. You either use this guy as a DM or a centre back, or you don't use him, in my opinion. He's just not good enough on the ball when it comes to moving with it. He's like, first touch and ball control is absolutely fine, but uh, yeah, he's not a player you want to be moving with possession with. His passing is very, very nice. Love the short passing, like the long passing, distributes very well off both feet as well, so that's another positive for this item. And uh, his shooting, oh, I won't lie, didn't take off too many shots but the ones that I did take were pretty accurate and they're relatively powerful as well unfortunately and um, didn't get many long distance goals of him but he did pick up a couple of goals for me which was rather nice and um, in terms of his pace even with the shadow chem style to be honest I didn't think he felt all that quick and um, definitely didn't feel slow but 
didn't feel as quick as I maybe thought he should have. So, uh, yeah, all in all, as I say, a good defensive mid item, but is he a great one? No, he is not in my eyes. Uh, so, with that in mind, do I think this card is worth picking up? To be honest, no, I don't. I just think there are many better CDMs um, already available in the game. A good comparison to this card is one to watch Party, who I purposely used in the team while reviewing him. I think Rijkaard and Party are very similar, but uh, if I'm being honest, I actually prefer Thomas Party, which is, yeah, absolutely mad. And uh, would I use this Rijkaard over other DMs like Kante? Definitely not. Kante is much better in at this game, in my opinion. So, uh, yeah, there is that. Do I advise getting this guy from Icon Swaps? No, once more, I don't. I think the packs are the best option from this batch of icon swaps. To be honest, I don't think the icon choices are all that great. And uh, you could get some pretty good value out of some of those, you know, pack icon swaps. So uh, that is what I would advise you guys to do. Anyway, those are my thoughts on Rykard. Like I said, ultimately, a good DM, but not a great one. And, uh, yeah, he's going to have to drop in price a lot for him to be good value for money, in my opinion. Anyway, let's wrap things up. If you've enjoyed the video, please do leave a like rating on it in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on the item. Subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.